Hi guys, this morning I am going to be showing you my everyday morning gym routine. I just recently posted over on Instagram some more about like my fitness journey and I posted some before and after photos and I also posted some of my gym routine and I was getting a ton of questions about it. So first I wanted to show you guys how I get ready for the gym because I'm still in my pajamas. As you can see, I still have all of these bags of clothes from my decluttering video. Cool. These are my favorite tops to wear at the gym. These are from Free People, and they're just so nice because you don't have to wear a bra with them, and they're just like cute little tank tops. I have them in so many different colors, but today I actually got a new set that I think I'm going to wear because it looks really comfy, really cozy. Here's what this set looks like. I usually like to wear kind of like tank tops, that fit like sports bras so I don't have to wear two shirts. Less laundry. Okay, now I'm in my bathroom. A trick that I do sometimes is I like to braid my hair when I'm going to the gym and then it doesn't get sweaty and greasy at all. So I usually wash my hair like maybe three times a week. This really helps it not get all gross and tangled and sweaty at the gym. I feel like I've talked about the fact that I drink pre-workout so many times, but I really do. And so before the gym, I get a little cup. And then she gets me and says, yeah. So this is the pre-workout I use. I only do like half of a scoop because that's just enough, I feel like. This is um, basically just vitamins, amino acids, and caffeine, and it just helps you get your blood flowing during your workout. And this is from the brand Old School Labs, which is like a really clean one because there's some pre-workouts that have who knows what in it, but this one's pretty good. So just put some in your cup and then fill it up with water, and then I just drink this on the way to the gym. And then I always get my tiny spoon. I love tiny utensils and stir it. Stir it on up, stir it on up. I grab my purse, then I also grab my workout bag because it's leg day, so we're gonna need some of these tools. And then I also grab my tennis shoes. These are from APL and they're really comfortable. We're on our way and you might be wondering, why don't I eat before the gym? But I just feel like, I don't know if you feel this way as well, but I feel like when I eat before the gym, I just, Okay, we just got here. Mark is already headed in, and I always keep my gloves, these little gloves, and my headphones in our glove department. Wait, glove department, glove, glove compartment. It's really nice because I have these. These are the Power Beats, I think they're called, but they're um, wireless headphones. They're really good for working out because they really stick in your ear but I just charge them overnight in the car. So it's really easy and they're never dead, which is nice. And then the only reason I use gloves is to protect my hands and I feel like I can lift heavier weights when I do have my gloves on. And if I don't use gloves, I get calluses like the next day and it starts like rip up my hands. So that's why I use gloves. Okay, so first we're gonna do um, sumo squat deadlifts and I'm using 60 pound weights. sets of 30 walking lunges and I'm using a 20 pound bar and I just hold it up like this. Okay now we're doing three sets of 20 box jumps and burpees. Here we go. Do 
Okay, just got back from the gym and I put on this sweatshirt because it's freezing in our house right now. My lips are like blue. It's like 60 degrees in our house right now. But always, always when I get home from the gym, I hop in the shower, which um, I'm gonna wait for a second because Marcus just got in the shower. But while I wait, I wanted to make sure I explained kind of my gym routine because the question I get asked the most is what program I'm doing. I've basically been doing the same four week program for seven times through. Does that make sense? I've done the same program seven times and now I've kind of just altered it to be exactly what I want it to be because um, basically what we did, me and Lexi, was we found this girl on Instagram and she does like personalized workout programs and we were like, oh, let's just try it out. It was very unorganized, very hard to follow, but she mentioned some good workouts and it kind of gave us like a baseline um, of what type of weightlifting we like to do. So we've kind of just morphed it into our own kind of thing. So I'll put up here kind of my schedule for each of the weeks. So maybe that would be helpful for you guys. Okay, gonna go hop in the shower and then I'll show you guys what I eat after the gym. Okay, currently I have you resting on a candle, like a big tall candle because I cannot find my tripod. But before I hop in the shower, I have to tell you guys about a product that I have been loving. And I know I talk about First Aid Beauty all the time. They're one of my favorite brands and they do make incredible products. But I have to say this might be my favorite product they've ever, ever made. Okay, let me just tell you what it is. This is their KP Bumpy Racer Body Scrub with 10% AHA. This stuff has changed my skin. If you don't know what KP is, basically it's little clogged pores that happen usually on the backs of your arms and also on your legs. Personally, I have KP on the back of my arms. You can kind of see the redness and maybe you can even see the tiny bumps. When I saw First Aid Beauty came out with this product, I was like, I have to, have to, have to try this. I actually used this for the first time and I texted Nicole from First Aid Beauty and I was like, are you kidding me? This is a life-changing product. She's like, I know, it's so amazing. Like, you can even look at this for reviews. People are freaking out about this. So I wanna show you guys the texture because it's crazy. You're probably not really gonna be able to see um, how fine the exfoliating granules are. There's actually pumice buffing beads in here, which is a natural exfoliant. There's also glycolic and lactic acids in here, which help to exfoliate the skin and make it brighter and smoother. Here is what it looks like. I was so shook the first time I used it because I've never felt anything like this. It feels so fine, like a fine exfoliant, but it also feels like it's getting the job done. And how I use it is when I'm in the shower, I already cleansed my body. I'll put a dollop of this on my hand just like this and I'll just scrub, scrub, scrub the back of my arms, scrub, scrub, scrub again two times a week. And then after I get out of the shower, I moisturize and I've already seen such an improvement. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'll have the link in my description box below and you can also check it out at your local Sephora. I'm fresh, I'm showered, I put on some lip gloss because I do not feel like putting makeup on today, but lip gloss just makes you look a little bit put together. And now I'm gonna make myself a protein shake because it's only 10 right now and I usually eat around 11.30. So I like to come home after the gym and have a shake and then have my breakfast later. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in it because it's been very delicious and it's so easy, so fast. So let me show you. First, you need a Nutribullet or any type of blender or you can just use a shaker bottle if you want. Next up, I put in this. This is Ancient Nutrition Bone Broth Protein. This is the salted caramel flavor. I got this on Amazon because a lot of people were saying it's really good and I really like it. I feel like I had to get used to the taste of it, but it's really good. It has 20 grams of protein, 16 grams of collagen, and I was mixing this with my collagen and then I read that it already had it in there and I was like, wow, 
I'm a dum dum. I've also been using this and really liking it. This is Pono Natural Coconut Flavored Probiotic Powder, and I just put a little choop choop in my smoothie. This is the almond milk I use. It's the unsweetened almond milk from Cal Calif Califa Farms. Into our little cup, we're gonna shake up our almond milk and I add, I don't measure anything, but I think this is about a cup. Then I add one scoop of this protein. Protein, I never knew before how important it is, but it's very important if you want to build lean muscle. Protein is the key. And then I do, uh, like I said, I don't measure anything, so I just do like a little shake of this in here. Probiotics are really good for your gut health, digestion, good bacteria for your belly. So that's all I put in here. And there you have it. This is my little protein shake. And I have this almost every morning. I've tried a few different proteins and I feel like this one's my favorite so far. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this now. So yesterday on Instagram, I was telling you guys how I was filming this video and I wanted to know if there was anything else that you would want me to include. And so a lot of you guys answered. So let's do a little uh, Q and A while I drink my protein shake to end this video. Someone asked what my goal for working out is. And I feel like my goal in the past with working out has never really had the right intention because I dreaded working out. I didn't like what I was doing and I just thought I have to do this because you have to work out to be healthy. But it wasn't like I appreciated it. My whole perspective has changed because now I really appreciate working out what it does for my body, what it does for my mental health. I can tell a difference in my mental health on days that I do go to the gym and days that I don't because I just need to get that energy out and I need to have that constant in my life. How do you stay on track when eating healthy? I always cave and get desserts and burgers. Uh, I think eating is the hardest part of fitness because I love baking, I love donuts, I love cookies. I could eat dessert after every meal and sometimes I do and I don't really believe in restricting yourself in the way of like I'm not gonna have a cookie like I'm not gonna have a cookie for a month I'm not gonna eat any desserts because that just makes me feel sad and one cookie is not gonna hurt you I've just been really trying to practice balance and understanding hey yeah I'm not gonna have a cookie every single day but I can have a cookie sometimes. Making sure I just have healthy food in the fridge to make. Like these shakes are really helpful in the morning to just kick off my day in the right way and then have some breakfast, like maybe some eggs and avocado toast, a nice healthy light lunch. I've been trying to have um, vegetarian lunches every day and that's been really nice because I just really get my veggies and my grains in and then I'll have like a more substantial bigger dinner. But yeah, that's kind of the way I've been looking at it lately. How long does it take you and how much time do you spend at the gym? It kind of ranges if I'm adding in cardio to a gym day, it, it that adds like 30 minutes to it. So then it will be like an hour and a half. But if I'm not doing cardio, it'll usually be around 45 minutes to an hour. How much weight did I lose? I actually, this is a great question to end on because I've actually gained five pounds since I started working out. I started at 115 and now I'm at 120. I think muscle actually weighs more than fat. So yeah, I don't really ever even look at the scale. I sometimes just jump on the scale at the gym to see like what's going on, but we don't even have a scale here at our house. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. This was actually really fun to film. I enjoyed filming it, so I hope you guys enjoy watching it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment them down below and I will see you very soon. Bye.